the sky is Priyanka. Is he in drag? Because you said this guy is Priyanka. I said the sky. Oh. <laughs> Back to our stupid reaction, idiots. Corbin. Rick, hashtag Priyanka fanboy. Fanboys of a lot of people. Priyanka's at the top. So we, uh, no, you're a hashtag, uh, Ren Beer fanboy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, you're not. Justice for Ren Beer. <laughs> uh, but uh, we reviewed the sky is pink. We saw uh, it. Hey, we're yes, about we, to review it. Yeah, we're doing that now. You need to stop doing uh, drugs, Corbin. I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> But obviously, this is a uh, a new film that just came out, starring Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Yep. And uh, directed by, say her name for me, please. Shanali Bose. Brilliant director of yep. Margarita 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 Straw. Straw. Which made me really happy to know she was directing this. And writing it. And writing it, and exactly. And shout outs to every single person in the cast. Obviously, with most of our reviews, it's going to be not non-spoiler at the very beginning, and then we're going to go nuts and spoil the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, you so, know, it's new. We'll warn you. The, the main actress, say her name for me. Uh, Zero Wasson. Is we know that right? Her. Yeah, we know her from yeah. Dongle. Zero Wasson. Uh, she was the girl in Dongle. Correct. She's grown. One of the girls. Yeah, man. She's she's a good actress, man. She does a fantastic job. Uh, but then uh, she's also in Secret Superstar, which, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure she like acts out a scene during part of it from Secret Superstar. If you've seen it, let me know. It's not really a In the Sky is Pink? Yeah. Really? We can discuss it later. I don't right. want to spoil anything. Outside. And then uh, Farhan Akhtar. Farhan Akhtar. Yep. Uh, who plays the dad? The dad. We, and then, I don't believe we. Oh, we saw yeah. like Deborah. Deborah. The Deborah film. Heck yeah. And then the uh, the brother is name is Rohit Saraf. Rohit Saraf, who is in Deers and Doggy and Hitchik with uh, what's her Hitchki. Yeah, with uh, what's her face. Yes. Did a synopsis well, for me. Here's the synopsis of the sky is pink. For those of you who were not aware of it. It is based on the true, on the love story, and yes, it is true. It's based on the love story of a couple spanning 25 years told through the lens of their spunky teenage daughter, Aisha Chaudhary, who was diagnosed with a pulmonary fibrosis. Yes. Yep. Very good synopsis. Very good synopsis. Because uh, I actually went in with a different, I thought this film was going to be mostly about the girl. Mm -hmm. And this oh, was completely, really? yeah, I did. And this was completely about the couple. Uh, yeah. It, it was very similar. I know you haven't seen it, but Marley and me. I'll never see that. Yeah, movie. ridiculously sad film, yeah. but it's about it's, it's it's about the life of a dog, but it's about their life with with that dog. dog. Yeah, and the I struggles actually kind of I kind of felt from the trailer that it would be about that. So. Yeah, well, I, I I knew it would have some. I just thought we would have more about that. So mm. just go in knowing that it's definitely going to be a Priyanka and uh, what's his face is uh, and Farhan, Farhan yeah. um, a heavy driven. Yeah, they're the, they're the central not only leads but the story is about. Really about them. Yeah. Um, and them going through the hardest thing I can imagine. Yeah. Little shout out for those of you who uh, don't want to see the spoiler portion of this. Uh, first of all, you know, blank, see it. Don't see it. Go see it. Go, go see, see it. it. <laughs> um, however, little disclaimer, if you've just lost a child or lost a loved one or you have a loved one that went through that, Oh, or if it's that happened at any time, it's not a surprise in the trailer, it's revealed, it's not a spoiler right here, that we're dealing with uh, a, a loved one in the family who passes away. Uh, for somebody who's going through that at this present moment, it might be really, really hard. It also could be really, really healing. So mm -hmm. just know that in advance. Uh, it depends on each person. But but for yeah, go you definitely go see this film. It's, see it. it's a beautiful, beautifully made film that I believe anybody, not just Indian audiences, American audiences, will talk would about love that. this film. Where are we going to talk about uh, that? Which is one of the things we can talk about in the non-spoiler part that the Priyanka kind of I'm hoping can bridge the gap a little bit of, uh, between the American audiences and the Indian audiences. We'll we'll, she, we'll she, find out tonight because we went to the matinee. It's opening day. And we went to the matinee at the Arclight in Sherman Oaks, which was a popular movie theater here, and there we were the only ones in the theater. In fact, the guy came in and said they thought they'd canceled the showing because there were no tickets that were sold. So we had a private screening. That's which is great because then we could talk through the movie. That's usually how it is, though, during, in, uh, for most of the times. So there's one Correct. or two other people in theaters, usually. But the, the, for most matinees, during non, it's not summer break. However, this was playing at the Arclight. That doesn't happen here for films from India. Yeah. Ever. So, that's exciting. I think, uh, say her name. So hopefully tonight, say her Shanali. Shanali. Shanali Bose. Bose. Uh, you are brilliant. 
Uh, I love loved you. what she did. I mean, we loved her that what she did with Margarita Lestral. And I think she grew even more with this um, as as a director. She uh, the the way she let stuff breathe. Just like she did in Margaret with yeah, a straw, which exactly. reminds me of the direction as well of Lunchbox. Yeah, which is some one of the problems that sometimes I have with some uh, films is that they they try to get the, the use the score and sometimes it they can over direct. Use, yeah, they can use it as uh, to help you mm -hmm. along, but sometimes you don't need it. You just need to. I mean, this is heavy enough where you don't. You're gonna feel. And we'll talk about the score too. If uh, if, <laughs> if you have music behind it yeah and i thought she, she did a brilliant job of not having some music there and letting the performances carry the scene yes. uh sometimes just uh, some of her symmetrical shots she had sometimes yeah. were just so gorgeous uh so i can't praise her enough i think she she's yeah one of my and there's also something you'll notice when you see it and i would love to talk with her about this i picked up on the fact that at the very beginning of the film the lighting was was particularly subdued in spots I would love to watch this again just to watch the lighting choices that she and her production team made because she really used light very different than say you know when we think of light and visual aesthetic it's always Sanjay yeah and and she's different and that she's way 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 more subtle oh, yeah she doesn't have images that come across the screen and you just have to stop and freeze the picture and go look at that work of art she does things that are more uh, visual bardwages in, yeah. in the delicacy of just just let's throw a shadow behind them over there to make it feel a little bit heavier. Yeah. Really, really smart director. Uh, yeah. So I love her uh, and I love that she wrote this and directed this based off a true story and at the end, what save story. for some of the credits. Please, uh, they, don't, yeah, don't leave. They show a lot of the, the actual people that this yeah, is based on. They did a great job. Makeup department. Like to make even yeah. pretty. I was, I, cause I was like, I mean, it's hard to make somebody look like Priyanka or make Priyanka look like somebody because she's such a gorgeous woman. Right. Uh, but no, the, she, she looked All really the characters accurate. looked like the, the real people. The main guy, the Faran, he looked like strikingly. And, and a real, this is the first time I'm giving a big shout out to makeup and hair from Indian cinema because oftentimes we've commented on ignore the makeup and hair because it's not good. They did a great job of aging both of them without making it look like they had to age them. Oh yeah. Very, very subtle. Uh, maybe in real life they aged a bit harder based on what they were going through, but I'm not gonna nitpick that. I thought this was the way that they carried them through the process and the aging. The other thing that she did, uh, and should we start talking spoilers because now I'm- Yeah, we'll wrap, yeah, like, just wrap up the- uh, like The non-spoiler. The, the non-spoiler. I think the one thing for me in this regard, that's a non-spoiler, uh, I'm really, I'll probably put something on my Instagram and I'm going to talk to a lot of people. I, I really want my friends here in America to, to see the movie. Yeah. Now, in theaters, give it box office, give it some attention because it's obviously getting a distribution larger than most films that are coming out of India because of Priyanka. She's, she has that I don't girl. think she's, arg I think she is. I don't think this is an argument. She's the most famous actress and actor. She's the most famous talent right now coming out of India here in the United oh, yeah. States. People the, people get offended because I know they get offended by that. They, they, you know, SRK is the biggest star in the world, is. but he, in are, America, more people know her. Correct. There are bigger stars in India, but as far as bigger. talent out of India, in America, nobody's bigger than Priyanka. And this is an opportunity right now, based on her star power and the fact that she's married to a mega star in Nick Jonas, for a lot of people who've never seen an Indian film in their life to see an Indian film, and this would be a great. Oh yeah introduction to Indian cinema for an American. Yeah, it's actually, it was, it's very familiar. The yeah. way she shot it, I think it was on You purpose. said that right at the beginning. Yeah, I think, I think Priyanka and, uh, sorry, I forget, uh, Shanali did it on purpose. I think, they, I think they knew that she okay. had such a draw in both. They, they formatted this as an American film, um, everything about it. Which, it, and that's not saying it, it, it took away from its Indian. Uh, not at all. At, at all. Uh, but uh, anyway, any more than English Vinglish did. So I would definitely go see this film if you, if, if unless you just want to see action because there's none of that at all. Uh. <laughs> yeah, for, for like of the three movies we've seen that opened this this week. Yeah, uh, for, this is this is the one I would I would, and it's really not a fair comparison. No, no, you can't really compare them. I wouldn't. It's either. really not fair because I, it's it's, it's two so totally different. different. Films. They're so different, but. For me, there's a message in this that is the more profound message yeah. of all three. Yeah, there but, is no message. But also, more. some people don't like heavily dramatic. Exactly. So if, exactly. if you don't like that, don't see this because that's what this is. And and a note to that: this is beautifully created because I I don't. There are films I'll talk about. Like here's some films right off the bat that 
you need to know if you haven't seen them, you're going to leave feeling awful. <laughs> uh, Revolutionary Road with Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Really? Lorenzo's Oil and Beaches. I know people won't agree with that necessarily, but I feel awful after I've seen Beaches. Uh, they're just heavy. Especially Lorenzo's Oil. Lorenzo's Oil, after you watch it, makes you want to jump off of a house face first into concrete. Uh, this doesn't do that to you, even though the subject matter is really heavy, heavy and you're yeah. going to need you're going to need tissue. Uh, it it is done in such a way that it's not. This is the way I would. I thought about this watching the film. It's not a movie about dying. It's a movie about living. Yeah, hundred so, percent. Spoilers. But yes, yeah. So come to spoilers now. If you don't want spoilers, go away. Go away. Go, go watch go the movie. See it. Come back, please, and then come back. Here we go. So, uh, so uh, how many times did you cry? <laughs> I I got emotional multiple times. Yeah. Multiple times. I didn't actually shed tears. Uh, I did. That happened to me twice. Okay. I got really emotional, and the tears started to come multiple times. Yeah. As a parent, and, yeah. you know, that is just, and a human being. Yeah. But I shed tears two times. I shed tears uh, during the video at the my end? laptop. At the oh, end. yeah, yeah. And I shed tears at her, her passing. Oh, yeah. Those were the two that just were enough. <laughs> he made a couple of really questionable decisions in the thing. I think, yeah. I think one of them being showing that video to her in mixed company. Yeah. Like, <laughs> This is your dead daughter. Uh, yeah. Watch this video with a uh, hundred other people. <laughs> yeah, but, and I thought that I thought that as well too. But I thought I understand it's cinematic. I, I don't know if it actually happened. Right, I don't know if it happened that way or if it was just for cinematic reasons. Yeah, but. and I, I also the only moment. Okay, let's talk about the acting. Yeah, and in this moment, the, the showing of the video. This is the only moment that when it began, I thought this is going to be a beautiful moment, and I was questioning Farhan's choice as an actor. Uh, and even the direction, because, and I, I understand not everybody has to be emotional when they're talking about emotional things. Mm -hmm. But if you read the script and see the words, what he's saying is freaking, and he's saying it in front of people. Uh, I kind of was like, where's the emotion from the guy? And, but two reasons I forgave him for that were, I think. He's talking about it at the end? His monologue at the end, I was anticipating at least fighting back. I saw no struggle with emotion. Could be he was just mm. the the man himself. Maybe was just mm, all the time and mm -hmm. didn't show his emotions no matter what was going on unless it was private. But I also thought maybe it was a choice. I'd love to see a, a you know behind the scenes thing of how they made the film. It may have been that Shanali told him uh, whatever you do with the scene. I I can't. First of all, the man himself wasn't very emotional, and we need the audience to be grabbed emotionally. It has to come in her video. You can't take from that video the emotion that people are feeling. You can't get them there too soon. I just wonder that. And that's the only moment I had a thought in my mind about the acting. The rest of the time, mm -hmm. I just was sitting I back I loving have, the acting. I didn't have a problem with that at all. I, that, I didn't have a problem with it. It was just an observation. Yeah, no, because that's how, that's how I would act. It, one, right. it wasn't right away also, so he's had time to think about this. Sure. And so he's putting on a show for other people. It's so that's just... I just know for me, if I was doing that scene, I would have to be directed to not show emotion. Oh, yeah, because you were very emotional. Correct. And so, that's what I'm wondering. No, because he's he's very similar to me. And, and how Do you I think the man in my oh, life? Yeah. No, like uh, how this man handled the situation, how he handled the death of his two it's kids. Very well, of his very two well kids. Made. I would actually do a lot very similarly. Sure. Because like, when he doesn't want to um, acknowledge that he had a first daughter, basically, because he yeah. doesn't want to think about and, it. And wanting to move to London. Yeah. Oh, so I, I get it. I get all that, and so like I, I have no issues with that. I, the, the, I, there's only two acting issues in it. <laughs> no, we, we both have them. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah there's some supporting in it. That's expected. It's not even supporting. No, like the, the, the H and M guy. The H and M guy. You can notice in that moment he had to he he looked for his mark. Yeah. Before he before he comes to talk to them, he walks over and he looks on the ground for his mark and he hits his mark. <laughs> But yeah, not, not big. Uh, the the brother, he was probably the weakest of them of of the all the actors. I thought he had a really good moment after he got off the phone with her, though. Yeah, uh, I we, liked him. Which was which was actually we could talk about her, and then we could talk about Priyanka. But um, her, is her name? Yeah, Zara. We'll get. Let's get to her in a second. No, no, let's get to her right now. Okay, she so we're skipping the brother. We're we'll, we'll go back to her. Oh, okay, uh, but uh, she is phenomenal. She was brilliant. She like every single moment of this. She's she's gonna be a powerhouse actor coming up uh and she already is as a young young kid 
Uh, but she had to give so much. I thought the scene where she had to put on a face for her parents and then right after she went and called her brother yeah. and then said, I don't want to die. Don't wanna die. Man, <laughs> that is, that is, and, and did her, a great job. It's, it's uh, really hard to make us believe you're dying. Oh, legitimately, yeah. especially when you're dealing with a lung problem, because we can tell from the way you're coughing and things you're doing, whether you're believed her 100% oh, yeah. of the time. And when the moment came for her to take the thing off, to mm -hmm. whenever she was using her hands, mm -hmm. she was flawless with the trembling in the hands because of the lack of oxygen. Yeah. She, she went up like this and then she took the thing off. And then when she went to reach for her dad, her hand was just perfect yeah, she, physicality. I, I can't wait just to watch great work. more of your work, honestly, because you're, yeah, you're, you're a talented you're, young lady. so phenomenal. Uh, she And I thought they did a great job with that character. I thought Me the too. brother, after that moment, when he threw his bag and everything, had a great moment. Uh, and so that yeah, I never that. disliked him. Yeah, he was my least favorite. Uh, yeah, I never disliked I, I him. I, I liked him a But the Priyanka, man. Uh, I know our the entries for the Oscars are over. But man, this could have been a, a, a good entry. And sure, it's gonna happen someday. Hon honestly. Priyanka's um, gonna get nominated someday and she should win some, someday. I, I, my hope, as I've said, after we saw Barfi, was that I, she's, she's got the chops and she's got the notoriety to be the first actress out of India to win an Oscar. And 100%. I, and I, she, she showed it. Yeah. They, both, they, were, they both had such beautiful scenes together. Yeah. I believe they were a couple. I believe they were in love. 100%. I believe this was their baby. Yeah, I, it was a great story that, um, and I know it's based off a true story, but... Uh, what a story. Say her name again. Shanali. Shanali. Shanali, what a job. Uh, you, phenomenal job writing and directing this film. <laughs> you Like, the way she did it, because she did it very sporadically, as you know, because this is the spoiler part. Uh, she did it, like, right off the bat, she was like, I'm dead. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they're going to just drop that on us right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you know I'm dead. Uh, okay, and then she kind of jumped back and forth from different points in their relationship, and she's talking Which, about very taboo subjects in Indian culture. Yeah, had, like parents, sex lives, so right? Like all this stuff. So I thought it was. Actually, I think she's a very um, brave director in terms yes. of. Yes, she's she, Margarita Lestral, Same thing. Yeah, she take on certain subjects that are almost taboo in Indian culture. Absolutely, and her use. She does what some of the directors in the Sacred Games episodes did, and we talked about it is doesn't feel the need all of the time to tell us about time changes. Yeah. She did it frequently when it was important dates to the story that you needed to know, okay, this is an important date, but a lot of the time she would jump back 20 years yeah. and wouldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. You just had to, you better be paying attention and yeah. you better be as smart as I think you are. She's just a really brave, is the, is the word, brave yeah. director. Brave and a brilliant director as well. And I think one of my favorite things about this movie is it is so... It is really hard to pull off what they pulled off with this movie to cover subject matter that is this serious and can be this sad and do it in such a way that is, like I said a few minutes ago, this is not a movie about dying, it's a movie about living. And I think, I hope the family's happy with it. I feel like she captured the spirit of this family and that woman, I mean, the mom. Yeah. Good grief, mm -hmm. uh, which is typically the case. What a shock uh, that the moms are the backbone. And the some, this synopsizes it for me. Mm. She passes away, and then we get the overhead shot of her coffin with a really happy soundtrack. I love it. Loved that. Oh, well, yeah. I... Yeah, I, I, I loved that. I hate funerals. So much. I hate death. Uh... And so, like, with everything inside me, <laughs> uh, me and my family love to talk about whenever all of us die. Uh, like, it's going to be, we're going to have like a rock concert playing. Heck yeah. I told somebody I want a, a stand up comedian roast me. <laughs> Heck yeah, you do. And you want everybody to get drunk on Jameson. Yeah. Yes. It would be so hilarious here. Like, a bunch of people so uncomfortable with this guy roasting my dead body. Absolutely. I think it would be hilarious. It would make me so, so happy. But I'd be dead, so I wouldn't know. You would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I love that. It was like a celebration of life, and I hope that's the actual true story. Me too. Uh, did you have any dislikes in the film at all? Besides that one that you said? No. That, and that was, that was just an observation. I didn't dislike his choice. Okay. At all. I, in was fact... There, was, there, in, was there anything that you didn't dislike in the film? Though? No, in fact, in that, that regard, I, I, when I saw her video, uh -huh. I then went, oh, I like that choice. Okay. Uh, the, no, they're, the only things I didn't like that were actually funny to me were those two moments okay. with the little, the little bit parts where the, the guy had missed his mark. And, yeah. Everything else for me with this movie was was off the charts. There was one issue, and it really wasn't really good. an issue, and it didn't ruin the film at all, because I love, love the film, and I would highly recommend it to anybody, um, was I didn't... I, 
I thought it was kind of, they did it for the Indian audiences, the two songs they put in. They're not musical numbers, so nobody sings. No, they're, they're like they're like cover sing musical Yeah, moments. so like there's like musical montages. I didn't enjoy those. Those were, this is the time when the like, uh, beginning of this channel, I said, I don't enjoy random songs. I, I, those two felt almost like random songs that the, they just put in for the Indian. The audience. first one made sense to me, which was their love affair. Yeah. That one made the most sense to me. The second one, I think, may have been that. Yeah. Doesn't bother me because I feel like this is something that should include... I think... I get what you're saying. I liked it because I felt... I felt this was definitely an Indian film. Oh, yeah. Oh, so did I. It but was an I, Indian film. Some films, like, I, I just don't feel they... Like, I get it. They don't warrant them oh, yeah, I get to it. have them. Yeah. Uh, and this is one that I didn't feel warranted it to have it in it. Uh, yeah. it but there was a lot of shout outs, which we're getting now, a lot of the culture references. Yeah. She grew up with Shah Rukh Khan. And yeah. <laughs> when she's, she learned Hindi through Bollywood. Yeah, and the scene she was doing in the school, and uh -huh. she was performing, right. I, I think it was from, because it looked very, because she was talking about Amir Khan. Right. And I think she was doing this character from Secret Superstar. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Please I don't confirm know. it for me. Those of know. you who have seen it, we know we know it was Amir Khan, which would be funny because oh, she Amir was Khan. apparently this is the girl from yeah. Secret Superstar, right? Right. right. Oh, really that's what you were referring to earlier. Yeah. Okay. Which is so that would be really funny. Be funny. Please confirm that for me or deny it. Yeah. Uh, tell, and, me, and, and, tell me what it was from. Yeah. I loved her character though. I thought that that the whole character that she created. I'm hoping this little girl was actually like this. Me too. Uh, I can't imagine she wasn't. Um, and by the way, any, I wanted to buy her book. Because it, it said the book that she did, the, the my my little um, uh, her book is called oh crap that the girl wrote. Yeah, uh, I went on Amazon to to buy it, and the only thing Amazon has are hard covers of it for like fifty dollars. I'm like, guys, come on, <laughs> seriously? Or you can get it on Kindle for four, and I want to read her book. Oh. I want to. I mean, I'm, I want to read her book anyway. You probably find it somewhere else. No. I probably. I, I want to buy her book. Uh, and they did the, the end credits are really beautiful, well done in terms of even doing everything like putting up where you can go to donate for uh, yeah. bone marrow transplants. And what's extraordinary to me is that this couple survived because the statistics for families that go through not just one, oh, yeah, but the loss of two children, the statistics aren't good, marriages. Like more than half of those marriages you, don't make it because and you like, understand. You understand. It's what he said. They the, they wind up grieving differently. Yeah, and, and every single time you look at that person, you see your dead child. Him. Yeah, it's not their fault. Correct. But, that's, but and there are choices like that where right. there's like, if if we hadn't moved to there, they wouldn't have gotten that, and we moved to there because you wanted us to move there. So it's yeah. it's sticky, it's nasty, ugly stuff. If I was in this situation, I would blame myself of for a lot of this. Um, and so, like after the first one, I would have gotten fixed. Honestly, like I, that, so that just would have been the thing. I would be like, "We're adopting." Yeah, I can't, I, I'm adopting. I can't go through this. I can't again. do this. Yeah, like, it's it's not. I couldn't put. I couldn't try it and then end up. It's like with that thing with uh, the movie Arrival. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen Rival, but you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. I would totally have never right. had the kid. Right. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. And that was another thing. I'm glad you brought that up. This movie does, I think, a really good job of presenting issues that are really divisive and hot topics in yeah. culture, which are right to life. Yeah. Abortion. Right, right to death. Right to death. Yeah. Um, uh, the medical practices and what are done and not done and what doctors say you should do and why they say you should do it. I thought it was all done extremely courageously yeah, and well done. Nope. It was never preachy. Yeah. Priyanka put on a powerhouse performance in this. Yes, she uh, did. And she multiple times, especially when they were arguing like about the lung transplant. Yeah. Like I was trying to figure out what side I was on. I, I know. I was like, I get it. Which I was get great. It. I get both. Which, which was is... great because I turned to you at one point and I said, I really hope this guy doesn't turn out to be a dick. Yeah. And it, it didn't happen. Yeah. And I was with you because I could I could see both sides. It's, and that's the struggles these every, like, parents have to go through in these situations. Yep. To you totally don't, see both you sides. You have no idea what the right answer is. Yeah. Which is, but it's, it's crazy. Great movie. And I really hope American audiences for sure will go out and support it. I, I know she'll get a huge fan base in India to go see it. As will he, because I know he has quite a few fans, and hopefully people are getting familiar enough with Shanali Bose. But here in America, boy, I hope this does well. 
Me too. And I hope it gets great reviews. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should. Definitely go see this film. Let us know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And um, hug your kids. Yeah. If you have them. If you don't, don't hug a random child. No, that would not be okay. <laughs>